Hello, my name's Caden on Ninja Grunmore, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a previous Master of Light question mark um, out of Lego. Now, it's unknown what this guy's the master of. However, judging from the look of his uh, attire, the uh, look of his Elemental Dragon from the flashbacks, I think it's safe to assume that this guy was probably the Master of Light. But like I said, it's it's 100% unknown, up to question. Um, but yeah, I, th I think it's safe to assume that this guy's the Master of Light. So he doesn't have a name or anything. We have no idea who he is, what his power is. But uh, I thought I'd still make a custom of him just for the sake of completion. So let's look at the pieces uh, I used to make So him. for the legs, I used Season, 13's, uh, season 13 coals with a white hip piece. Um, that, that looks really accurate. Then for the torso, I used Core Wu. Uh, because I had two of him and I thought it looked perfect. Core Wu with some black arms but keeping the white hands. Then for the face, I used this face, which I think is from Chase McCain from some of the older LEGO City sets. I say older, uh, only a couple of years old. I, I say a couple of years, I think maybe like six or seven years old. Um, that's where that face is from. And for the hair, it's kind of like this like mullet kind of piece. Um, I think maybe Luke Skywalker uses it from the new Star Wars movies. Uh, I think it also came on a fairly recent CMF. Or maybe it wasn't a recent CMF, but it came on like a rocker uh, CMF, I'm pretty sure. Or it might be might, that might be in a, a slightly different colour. But I'm pretty sure it does come on Luke Skywalker. Um, and then, yeah, that is how you make this unnamed uh, Elemental Master. I think this is really good looking. It looks really accurate. I'd say maybe the only thing I'd change about it is the torso, I'd probably give it the uh, the Wu torso that comes in the Temple of um, Air Jitsu. However, I didn't have another one of those figures, and it's a fairly expensive figure uh, to buy. So I thought, I'm not going to you know spend like a couple of pounds just to buy a torso when I have one that works just as well. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why I, was, I said that so weird, just as well. Uh, but yeah, th this one works just as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with this custom. I think it looks really good. On my channel, I'm making every former Elemental Master custom. Uh, so definitely check them out if you're interested to see what all my custom figures of them look like. Before I go, it's worth noting, when you look on the um, Ninjago wiki about this guy, it says he uses the same face piece as Ash, or the same face print as Ash. Um, so I tried that face on the Master of Light. And it really didn't work for him. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like now. So yeah, here's what that looks like. But I think this guy seems kind of like nice. He seems quite chilled out. Um, and I think that face print looks very aggressive. Very like, you know, like he's out to do something bad. Um, and I kind of like this face. Because the eyebrow colour matches with the hair. Um, it, it still has the like the wrinkle aging lines. Um, it has the little the chin printing kind of. So I, I, I just prefer this face. But yeah, I'm really happy with this custom. I think it looks really accurate to what it is supposed to look like in the show. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my other custom previous Elemental Masters on my channel. And I'll see you later. Bye.